Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good night. Uh, a wise man told me once time. One, uh, a wise man told me once the community and it, and essentially it's a, it, it's kind of like you have your your city, your county, and your state. You have your family, and then you have your community. And while we could argue and go back and forth, we are still a part of that community. So if we you know, what's the saying? If you cut off the head of the snake, well, you know, the whole body dies and, and, and we're all a, a part of that body. And essentially, uh, the genesis for this is, uh, a few years ago, um, I remember saying that we, I, I don't see us not having a civil war. And, and this, this stems from, um, I remember back when I, I, I used to have employees when we were going through our, our first few elections, and uh, I used to tell the employees, hey, you know, you, you can't always vote for whoever's going to just give you stuff, you know. And I remember one of the gentlemen that, that worked for me at, as he was getting out of my uh, vehicle, he goes, uh, well, he's all, I'm going to vote for whoever's going to give me the most stuff. And that's great for you at the time, but it, it reminds me of, let's say we have a, a store and we got the front of the store and the back of the store. The back of the store, the supplies have to come in, we have to take inventory, and then we have to sell them through the front of the store. Well, if you're just sitting there looking at the stuff, you just show up, you don't have any, any connection with the store really, and you're looking at the stuff, you're like, hmm, I could just get the stuff out of the back though the store has plenty of stuff that's good for me of course it's terrible for the store or i can go through the front and get it like you're supposed to and everything stays that way and it keeps everything nice and good and uh, that's what it takes to exist or for the store for the community or you can just go in the back take whatever you can back your car up take whatever you can if somebody says anything, you say, oh, well, you got plenty of stuff, or I don't care, it's not my my store. Well, eventually, what do you think is going to happen to that store? Eventually, it will go out of business, or it will become a horrible store. It'll say, okay, since everything is going out the back is faster than it's going out the front, we'll just carry government cheese, because that's cheap. Um, we're not going to give anybody good selection, uh if, if you're talking about a, a grocery store, you look at all the different... We have everything from crappy stuff to good stuff. Um, and uh, usually, if you're like me, you get the crappy stuff. And um, sometimes we'll kick it up a notch. And then the kids have to go around with the crappy label um, at school and stuff. And, and uh, every once in a while, we'll treat ourselves and we'll get Arrowhead water instead of Market Pantry or Sam's Choice. Anyway, so you get all the um, all the crappy stuff now, and, and there you go. And what happens is people they look at other stores and they say, "Oh, well, let's go to let's go to that store," <laughs> and they'll, they'll they'll leave the store that you're in. Um, so what you do is you have to be smart. You have to have security there. You have to have certain rules and regulations, and nobody likes to hear it. It's very offensive for the person that wants the stuff, but you have to do it. And I, and I think we're at this point in the country where people have been given so many things that um, you, at this point, you know, we, we've, we've given out a lot of benefits. And, and it's okay for the people that need them. Um, you know, I've benefited from a lot of different things. Um, but I, I, it's like a moral bank account. I like to think that I've given more than I've ever benefited Um and, you know, I think of, like, all the, the employees that I've had over the years. Um, I always say, like, okay, so I'm, I'm not a, a veteran. I, I didn't go to Iraq because um, I had some, some physical problems. And, um, but I think I, I've kept plenty of, uh, uh, what are they called, um, National Guardsmen um, employed. And I'd let them off every, every so often. Um, my guys that have worked for me have paid the payroll taxes. I paid the, the, the taxes and 
so you know I, I've helped as much as I could um, you know just keeping the, the country going while the rest of the um, the workforce is is at war so to speak so um, you have you have these people that that just look look okay what can I get right now me and that's an, an interesting thing because how does a community survive if you are just looking after yourself and I think the answer is it it can't in uh, what we know as a great community you you can maybe survive I mean there's cities all over the world communities all over the world that are surviving but they're not a place that we want to go live and you know, raise a family and then um, you, you have a lot of there's the protesters now like oh you know um, Oh, just let's go down the list. I mean, whether it's um, the, the Black Lives Matter, whether it's uh, you know the the right to work, uh, you know we want to be you know, equal in in immigration status. Um, you just go down the list, and you know we're uh, we're not getting as much money, you know, as, as the males. Uh, so it's okay now. Everybody's complaining, and now everybody's willing to take something from the community to make them better so to speak well at, at what point do are we just starting to take the stuff out of the back of the store because it's there and we could take it and you know like you you, know, you, you get all the, the national funding and you, you take the the money from the police where uh, the police have to show up to certain events and it's just drain 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 but meanwhile you have a uh, uh, the Russians threatened to shoot down our fighters uh, in in Iran and and uh, or Syria and uh, you know it just we we have so many real problems that we need to tackle but as soon as we start this and and it is gonna it has to at a certain point be a civil war because I think this is usually how it go, this is how it went with the first civil war is well let me first say that the United States has the government, the federal government, and then, you know, you have your, your state's rights. And we had back in the day when over the slavery thing is, is you have the, the states that want to secede, wanted to secede because they wanted slavery. That That's labor. And that was a huge part of the economy. And um, uh, Lincoln at the time, that was his platform. That was, that's, that's what he ran on. You could say oh, it wasn't over slavery or it wasn't, but Irregardless, he was going around telling people, "This is why I want to be elected." And eight hundred was eight hundred thousand people died in that war because of uh, you know the, the the states that wanted to secede. I think it was the seven states, and then they started the Confederate Confederacy, uh, Confederate states. Um, and uh, you can tell I'm such a history buff; I can't even get it right. Um, so you have. 800,000 people that died and that's more people that died in all of our other war or about the same uh, is all of our other wars combined World War II, World War I um, and uh, Vietnam finally pushed us over the edge um, but before that before Vietnam more people died in the Civil War and it was because of states wanting to do their own thing they didn't like what the federal government was telling them to do and uh, now you have California is like, all right, we want to do, uh, we want marijuana to be legal. And, oh, the, the immigration thing, we don't want borders. So, uh, we're gonna, um, we're gonna have, uh, you know, you know, if you're a sanctuary, if you're not a sanctuary city, um, you're not going to get money from, what was it? The, um, they did a, uh, if, if you're a contractor and you're, going to build the wall or help build the wall or you bid on the wall now you can't do work for the city and and there's all these things that you know everybody wants to separate themselves from from each other for because they want to look at their own best interests and and you start to have uh, uh, the same motives for very first and i'm not saying th things are going to play out exactly like they are it's just how could you, and this, my, my show's about happiness, so how can you be happy, or it's harder to be happy, when you start to get this groundswell of us against them? And, 
here's why I, I tend to believe that a civil war isn't totally out of the question. And not, not the war we're all going to line up and shoot at each other, even if it's just a constant protest and, um, and, and unrest. It's, you, you cannot, um, it, it's, you cannot change people's mind once they get a service or you, you have to raise them if you in a certain way before they start making the tough decisions. And, and I think right now you talk to kids, anybody under, I don't know, 25 or whatever, maybe even under 30 and they'll tell you how America's bad. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're not, uh, for, uh, this Paris peace accords, you're, you're bad. You know, if you're not for, um, given everything to, um, basically giving the whole kitchen sink away just to help everybody you're bad 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 and it, and when you say no this is what you have to do to have a country that runs sure you have to offend some people by denying them certain things but you have to do it if if more people are taking from the pot that are putting in the pot guess what you know you're not even going to have pot to smoke later on it's just um you know you 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 have to have more to, to have a, a body of water. More water has to come in than is leaving. And we're having, you know, the, the, at least in California, the people that are paying the taxes leaving, uh, people that are the, the job creators leaving. If you're going to create a job, uh, let's say you're not in the service industry, you're in manufacturing. Why the hell would you do it in California? You wouldn't because you're going to go to Arizona, Nevada, anywhere that you could, um, you know, pay lower, lower taxes, lower, uh, your insurance, workman's comp, you know, and, and just to show you that I'm, I'm not a hypocrite, or at least I'm trying to not be a hypocrite is I worked in a union for about five years. And I remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger came in office, you know, of course, nobody liked him uh, on, on one side of the aisle. And I had, um, uh, I'd known that workman's comp rates were really high, like 20, almost 30%, hovering around 30%. And basically, <clears throat> if you had a business, you would, for every $100 you'd make, you have to pay almost $30 just for work, workman's comp. So now it's $100. And then you pay taxes on that, payroll, fuel, blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> you're, you're not dealing with a ton of money. You know, people see you earn a hundred dollars. It's not like you put a hundred dollar bill in your pocket. Um, so I worked for a union that didn't affect me at all. And, but I remember telling people, I say, look, you know, this is when he was running for, uh, uh maybe a, a election. I go, look, if he lowers the, the workman's comp, you know, yeah, it won't benefit me, but it'll benefit California. And I had nothing to benefit. I, I'm telling my coworkers that, um, hey, you know, here's here's somebody that's going to lower the workman's comp that's hurting California businesses. It's just good for the state. And here's the thing is, if California does better, then there's more jobs. And then you could bargain for more money because uh, <laughs> there are more jobs. But if there's if there's fewer jobs, I mean, this is, you have to tell people, oh, here's a selfish way to look at it. And then you can change their mind. Maybe, um, here's fewer jobs. So now more people are going to be competing for your job. And when it comes for you to negotiate, they're going to be like, wait, it's going to be easier to replace you. So it's in, in effect, it, it did kind of, uh, affect them indirectly. And that's how everything works. Everything is going to affect you indirectly. Just like the guy that's taking the stuff out of the back of the warehouse thinking, oh, it's there for the taking. I'm going to take it. Eventually, it is going to affect him because he's not going to have that forever. And eventually, the stuff he's going to be taking is going to be government cheese. It's, he's not going to have the luxury of, of taking something super nice.